Hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to show you my Eidolon Hunter setup which is a raw rhino build with a core hack that can be used in both a party scenario which will increase the kill speed of the Terralist immensely because you're providing a 141% damage buff but you can also use it to solo the Terralist in a reasonable amount of time if you have at least the tier 1 amp. It's gonna take a lot longer with the mode amp but if you have at least the tier 1 amp and use the secondary fire or you have the tier 2 amp and use the primary fire you can kill the on in roughly 16 or 17 minutes, which means you can squeeze in two kills in one night for a decent amount of reputation. It's not as crazy as the min-max chroma setup which can 2 or 3 shot the Eidolon's limbs but it's more defensive because you have a ton of power strength which means your iron skin has a ton of health. Now the final build is pretty expensive, it requires 4 forma but I'm also using 2 prime mods. Now the aura I'm using is corrosive projection but I'm actually not sure if this does anything because they did patch out shield disruption so they may have patched out corrosive projection as well so you might want to use energy siphon instead. Then to get 281% power strength I'm using transient fortitude, blind rage, power drift and intensify. This gives you an insane amount of health on iron skin so you can face tank the terrorist for quite a while and it's also what gives you the 141% damage bonus on roar. However this will kill your power efficiency and power duration. I'm using prime continuity to deal with the duration loss and even at 63% power duration I still have about 13 seconds of roar which is usually enough to destroy one of the limbs. And I'm using both Fleeting Expertise and Streamline to give me a ton of power efficiency. I'm also using Primed Vigor to give me a little bit of tankiness outside of Iron Skin so that I don't insta-die the second I lose it. But if you don't have Primed Vigor you can easily substitute it with Vitality or even one of the Augments if you don't feel like you need the extra tankiness. And finally I'm using Steel Fiber which adds a little bit of tankiness but also extra health for my Iron Skin. Now my Vigor Hex setup is also pretty expensive, it's running Primed Point Blank, Hell's Chamber, Blunderbuss, then we have Primed Ravage, after that we have Contagious Spread and Blaze and finally Incendiary Code and Charged Shell. So I'm running Radiation and Toxin with a lot of crit chance and crit damage, though if you can, run Radiation and Cold, so swap Contagious Spread for Chilling Grasp. Now I know the setup is very expensive but it is also incredibly strong. Here you can see what it does to level 100 bombards, it will 2 or 3 shot them with a body shot and if you get lucky on a headshot so you get a couple of crits in there you can even one shot them. Now you don't have to use this exact same setup, you can cut down a little bit of Forma on Rhino if for example you don't want to Forma the Aura slot and you don't need to use Vake or Hack if you don't have the weapon or you don't have the Prime mods, just take the strongest crit weapon you have. When it comes to soloing the Terralist, the best advice I can give you is to damage all of its limbs at the start. Simply remove all of its shields and bring all four limbs down to low health before finally destroying one of them. This is to make the later stages of the Terralist fight easier. Because the more limbs you destroy, the tougher the Terralist gets. He will start throwing abilities more often and he will summon in more Vomvilists. And speaking about Vomvilists, make sure to prioritize them throughout the entire fight because the worst thing that can happen when you're soloing the Terralist is to let the Vomvalist restore its shields. Because removing the Terralist shields while you're soloing it will take you a couple of minutes and it's the reason why the fight takes like 17 minutes. Taking down one of its limbs on the other hand can be done in under 30 seconds. So once again if you see a Vomvalist flying towards Big Mama, take it down as soon as you can. And that's pretty much it for the video so I thank you very much for watching. As always I wish you good luck when hunting the Terralist and I will see you next time. Bye bye.